In your digital journey, a legacy WAN architecture is your limiting factor. You need agile, future-ready ISO SD-WAN to uplift your control, visibility, and peace of mind. In this demonstration, we show a brownout scenario where your critical application can experience service degradation, impacting your user experience. Here's how ISO SD-WAN Select can help address it. Let's observe a use case where our locations in Hong Kong and Singapore connected via MPLS as the primary link and ISO Internet WAN as secondary link for Polycom traffic. If the packet loss over MPLS exceeds the predefined threshold, the Polycom traffic automatically switches to the Internet WAN. Once the packet loss falls below the threshold, traffic routes back to MPLS. You can specify the packet loss threshold based on business policy and application criticality. The ISO SD-WAN self-service portal lets you easily view and change these settings. Simply select ISO SD-WAN Select under the configuration menu. Then select SD-WAN Policy. Select the relevant site, in this case Singapore, and the forward profile. Go to the SLA profile and select the information icon to display the current maximum packet loss. Here, the threshold is set at 10%. Note that the first traffic priority is MPLS to MPLS, and the second priority is Internet to Internet. Let's see how ISO SD-WAN Select dynamically switches critical traffic during packet loss. The green and black lines represent the MPLS link. Let's check which path critical traffic is currently being routed through. All the traffic is currently on MPLS. Let's introduce a packet loss of 15% above the 10% threshold. As soon as we introduce the packet loss, the traffic switches from MPLS to Internet WAN, represented by the orange and blue lines. Once we remove the packet loss, after the recompute time of a few seconds, traffic automatically returns to MPLS. Now for a real-life example. Naveen works in Singapore and is video conferencing with Nora in Hong Kong. The sites are connected by MPLS and ISO Internet WAN with a 10% packet loss threshold. Going live to Naveen and Nora. Hey, hi, this is Naveen from Singapore and you are seeing this video call session uh, between Singapore and Hong Kong on GVP and MPLS link. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to uh, induce 20% of the packet loss on the GVPN link uh, and we are going to see how seamlessly traffic is going to shift from GVPN to ISO Internet WAN. So right now this call is going via the GVPN. As you can see from the graph, green and black lines are representing how uh, where exactly the call is flowing through. It's a GVPN link. I'm going to log in into the WAN emulator to induce 20% of the packet loss on the GVPN link. And here you can see it will wait for a recompute timing and you can see the call will shift from GVPN to ISO Internet WAN uh, very seamlessly without any glitches on, on the video uh, quality. If you go back to the graph and see the quality, uh, the traffic has actually sort of shifted from uh, GVPN to ISO which is represented by orange and blue lines. I'm going to again go back to the van, van emulator, remove the 20% of the packet lo losses from the link and again see how the traffic is going to shift back to GVP and MPLS link. So here I'm going to the van emulator. This session you can see it's running, running right now on ISO Internet WAN and it's going to take recompute timer 
uh, based on that, it's going to shift back the traffic on GVPN. Here, if you see the graph, the traffic is shifted to GVPN and still the quality of the video call is up to the mark. So this completes this uh, demo session of performance-based uh, routing of SCVAN. Thank you. In the analytics and reporting section, you can view in real time the network utilization. With ISO SD-WAN, your network can't ignore you and you have peace of mind again. ISO, everybody's network cloud.